Hi guys, Jeff here again from TAP. We've just had another case in the workshop this week that I wanted to share with you. A quickie, it's an oldie, but it's a goodie. And it's in regards to mass airflow sensors. Uh, obviously, uh, this particular vehicle is a bit sluggish, didn't want to run too well. So again, we've used our own uh, calculator. Again, on our own website, we've got our uh, math sensor and uh, volumetric efficiency calculator. So we're able to calculate that the mass airflow sensor on this particular vehicle was uh, incorrectly reporting. So it's the old Nippon Denso type uh, air mass meter. And again, having a close look at it, those little resistors in there which measure the air temperature and air flow or the massive amount of air going through can get dirty over time and just need to be cleaned. So a good a mass airflow cleaner, clean them up, gets it back to running 100%. So it's an oldie but a goodie, but again, using our calculator on our own website, which is the mass airflow and volumetric efficiency calculator, and we've done a little video on that before, you can actually calculate what the mass airflow should be reading, so you can compare it to yours. You can also go onto our scan data part of the website and get some good known data at idle and 2000 RPM, so you can compare your car's data with a known good car's data. So there's a couple of ways where you can diagnose whether your mass airflow sensor is working correctly or not. All available through our website for our members. If you're not a member, it might be time to join up so you can utilise some of these great facilities we've put together. So just go to our homepage at tap.net.au, uh, click on the join up now button. If you fill out that form uh, and process that, then obviously you'll get an instantly emailed a password to log into the website so you can access all those programs, scan data, Tatsafax, etc. that we've got on our system. So that's the Tatsafax in our system at the moment, uh, as well as those calculators, etc. are there for our members' use. See you next time.